what do you think about Marvin Harrison Jr.? He's definitely playing literally above the defender. He doesn't try to like just get past them. He's not just trying to run his route and get away from them. He's like, yeah, if the ball is thrown in our area, I can out jump him and just play above him and get the ball that way. That's a fun thing to see. The only other receiver that I've seen consistently play above, literally above the defender is Brandon Marshall. You know, he has all the other tools too, but I don't want to say too much more because I haven't completed my evaluation of him. But uh, that's just the one thing that stood out to me whenever I watch him play. That's exciting. (laughs) I think he's got a bright future in the NFL. It's just Ryan Poles constantly preaches value. Value Value-wise, is it worth it? So you mentioned Brandon Marshall. Brandon Marshall was a fourth-round pick. If we go through and just take top five wide receivers drafted in the past, we have A.J. Green, who did not win a Super Bowl. Calvin Johnson, who did not win a Super Bowl. Braylon Edwards did not win a Super Bowl. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just going off memory here. Larry Fitz was in a Super Bowl, but didn't win one. Charles Rogers did not win a Super Bowl. Andre Johnson did not win a Super Bowl. Peter Warwick did not win a Super Bowl. You got to go all the way back to 1996, where Keyshawn Johnson was taken at number one overall. And he was taken by the Jets. He definitely didn't win one with them, right? The history shows us that a top five wide receiver doesn't necessarily make the impact that, for example, a top five quarterback could make. I think if you're going to sit there and risk that pick, it should be on a quarterback. But my my preferred situation here, dropping back and still getting a top 10 draft pick and taking a quarterback. You know, I think that would be a win-win-win. You still get a trade back. You still get a new quarterback. And you still give Justin Fields an opportunity to play. However, like I said, it's probably the most unpopular opinion right now. People hate it. Um, I think the safest way to go is definitely to just trade back because in no scenario is one player ever worth what multiple players are worth. So if you truly want to go the safe route, I, I think you pass up on both Caleb Williams and Marvin Harrison Jr. But that's just me. I mean, look no further than last year. Puka Nakua set wide receiver rookie records. Why would we draft Marvin Harrison Jr. that high? Mostly his physical attributes and his body of work and what he's demonstrated. It looks like he could be a Hall of Famer. That's why. It looks like he could be a five-time All-Pro. That's why. Okay. There, you Something you said earlier that was interesting was that one player is never more important than multiple players. And if you look at a history of lopsided trades that have been made between teams, sometimes one player is much more valuable than the four players that were received by the other team. That does happen, okay? Uh, a lot of teams thought, well, I'm going to get two or three role players and one good player, and I'm going to trade away a star player. And that team implodes. It doesn't come together. The coaching doesn't know what to do with those role pieces. Those role pieces are thrust into action. The one good player is not actually all that good. And so they got four mediocre to low tier pieces for their hall of famer or their big star, you know, at the end of the day, it just goes to show you that everybody's just giving it their best shot. Nobody really truly knows what players are going to become at the end of the day. Right. That's why, you know, I love, the point you brought up about how sometimes these lopsided trades do work out in the favor of the one player. That's a great point. And it's very, very valid. I'm just, I'm me personally, my mindset is always that this thing's a crapshoot. Give me more darts to throw at the dartboard. You know, the more draft picks I could accumulate, I feel the safer the future is, and you know, the more you can do with it overall, but Hey, you never know. You really truly never know. Yeah.